Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So today we are growing some food, you guys, in the grow tent. So right behind me is the unit that we're gonna be planting up. And I will be showing you guys just a little bit more because you guys had some questions. So the grow tents are vented, okay? And I don't know if you guys can see because the lights are really bright, you guys, inside here. So I'm going to go in here. And you guys can see, here's a filter right here. This right here is the carbon filter that filters out of here and it circulates the tent. And then I have a fan here. I have a bigger fan here. And then I have a fan here. And then I have another fan right here. And that blows and circulates air and keeps the plant strong. Now during the winter months, I do have a heater that I will put in here and that will keep them warm, okay? You don't have to have it hot. You just need to make sure that they stay at least above 55, 60 and not stress the plants out, okay? So what we're gonna be planting up, you guys, is this wall unit right here. Now in this tent, a smaller fan that is blowing right here. So that helps circulate the air all the way around the whole entire tent, okay? And then each of them have their own lights, okay? We have a light in this one, and we have two lights, as you guys can see in this one. So I have the tent and it goes all the way around. Okay, it goes all the way around. Um, so this one here is a four by four and this one is a four by eight, okay? And I have them all combined together. Even though they're two different brands, I was able to picture it and say, you know what, we can combine them by the doors. So that's what we did. And now we just have one uh, big unit. All right, so let's go this way over here. So over here is what we're gonna be planting up. I do have down here some of the starts that I started. So what we're gonna be doing is pricking out some of these lettuce and we're gonna be popping them into this unit. Now the first thing first is we need to start off with pre-moistened soil so that um, we don't have to worry about overwatering or anything like that. So we always wanna start off with planting anything that we have into containers Anything that we have into containers, we need to pre-moisten the soil. And what that does is keeps you from overwatering uh, your plants, okay? So that's what we want to avoid, overwatering, because overwatering is just as what is just as harmful to your plants as not watering them. So what we're gonna do is I just pretty much it's already kind of moist, so I'm just gonna give it a little little mist with my sprayers, okay? Just a little, just a little mess with my sprayer. Oil in here is already pre-moistened, so I really don't need to moisten it too much, okay? So when growing indoors, you don't have to water as much, but you do want to stay up on your watering um, because they do have a tendency to still dry out and you not know. So just wanna make sure that you check at least that half an inch to an inch to make sure that your, your plants are getting enough water, okay? Now, you can put water reservoirs under all of your uh, pots if you want to, and that definitely will help control too as well how much you are watering. Um, but I have not uh, put any water reservoirs because I kinda don't even know for sure uh, if this is the layout I'm going to stay with but I was definitely too as well looking for something to go on sale so I could pop underneath them so anyways but we already got our pre moistened soil and then what we're gonna do is we guys are just gonna prick out our lettuce in this container you guys can kind of see the lettuce that we have here all right, let's get you here. All right, so you guys can see all the lettuce. I do have some mustard greens, and I do have some endives. This is a blend over here. 
I did plop in some more seeds down the middle here, but we're going to work with this group right here. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and grab a bunch. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way with it. And we're going to just pop them up, okay? Just like this. All right. All right. So here we go. The soil that I have is pretty loose. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so it looks like we have 13, 13 plants right here, just in my hand. We got about 13 right here in my hand. All right, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom of my little shovel and, and make a little hole. Alright, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. Be gentle, you guys, and we're going to prick them out. Okay, and pop them into place. Just press around them very gently. Don't pack it. Just press it really gently. to be gentle when pricking it too so that we don't damage the, the little seedling okay because they are super duper small so I'm just kind of just sitting them on the soil and putting them right into the hole and just collapsing the sides collapsing the sides around the plants We want to make sure that our plant is getting buried up to its leaves so that we have a sturdy plant and let me give you guys an idea can you guys see we're gonna plant it up to here up to here to the leaves Now this is the butter crunch lettuce. One of my favorite lettuce, you guys. It's soft, it's buttery, it's just, it's just a great lettuce to uh, have in your garden. All right, so we have those planted up and we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten more we can plant up, so that's what we're gonna do. I want this full, you guys. I want this completely filled. We just pricking it out and we burying it, okay? Up to up to its true leaves, okay? Up to the true leaves.
I actually got a basil. I actually got a basil right here that is trying to grow still. Um, this one is doing good, but this one is really trying. So I'm just gonna leave it and hopefully it will survive. But if not, we're just gonna pop another plant in. All right, so we have our wall unit planted up. As you guys can see, this wall unit is now planted, but we have one more step that we need to do. Since we have planted up our lettuce into this wall unit, they do have their true leaves. So that means we are going to fertilize. Last thing up is to fertilize, and I'm gonna be using a Dr. Irv fishy motion. This fishy motion does not smell as bad, so I'm going to be using this one indoors. All right. I'm going to give this actually a good shake, okay? It's about five pumps in this little bit of water, but we're going to really get it in here, okay? We're going to pump it. I'm just going to water the base of the plant, not the actual plant, okay? We're just going to water the soil line. Just around the plant, not the actual plant. Not gonna take much, I promise. We even gonna do the basil while, while we at it, right? Go ahead and fertilize everything. Now I will come back and check this unit a lot frequently and water this a lot frequently because it is uh, on a wall unit and it isn't that much soil. So you definitely gonna have to water this, you guys, a little bit more often than you will have to do your bigger containers. All right, so as you see, I didn't use that much of it. I just wanted to go ahead and water and settle the soil around the plants, but I definitely will keep my eye out on the on this container unit here, well, this wall unit here, to making sure that it doesn't dry out and the plants are thriving. As you guys can see, this basil right here is doing amazing. So obviously, you guys, we can grow a lot in small spaces, and I really am starting to enjoy uh, growing indoors and outdoors. I have been trying to educate myself a little bit more on uh, plants and um, how some things thrive a little bit differently than others. But anyways, you guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy my content. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys. Happy growing.